Hello, and I am Terry Jo Fox, and I am here with my guest and very dear friend, Denise Bash. And we want to make our community aware of something that's very true and dear to our hearts. We are partnering up with Vicki Williams at Movement Mortgage, as well as Val Privet at Beacon um, with you, but you are really the soul of this. Um, so I want you to tell me a little bit about why we're here and why we're doing what we are doing. So I was introduced to Wounded Warrior, which is actually an active duty station, part of the Marine Corps. The Marines who are there have either been injured due to a personal accident or it could actually be in combat or in a training exer exercise on duty. Um, my son is actually one of the Wounded Warriors and has been there for a couple of years. It is an incredible facility. There are two in the U.S., one on the East Coast at Camp Lejeune and one on the West Coast. I had no idea about that. Yeah. Wow. So there's okay. two. It's incredible. And they have rehab programs. They have transition readiness programs for those Marines who are going to be leaving the Marine Corps as well. Okay. So it is a great benefit for our Marines. However, on Thanksgiving, we went down and we found a couple of ways where we think we can make the lives of these Marines a little bit better. There's no cafeteria on site, um, and so that means if you're a Marine in a wheelchair, even if you've got a ride, it's a little bit hard to get back and forth to the cafeteria, and you're dependent on other people to get there. So do they have like a, like a, a, a neutral like spot where they can come and and be together if there was more for them to kind of maybe fellowship around? Yes, they okay. do. They okay. have a, a large hall. Okay. Um, and they do have a little efficiency, almost convenience store that has a few frozen meals and things like that that they can purchase. Okay. And then they have a community kitchen. Um, and there are organizations who come in from time to time, cook in the kitchen, and serve the Marines lunch and things like that. And you made food for them on we Thanksgiving. Did. We What'd did. you make them? Well, we did a giant pot of chili there you the night go. before Thanksgiving. Um, and then the day of Thanksgiving, we actually found out that there's a woman who for the last 14 years, she and her family have cooked Thanksgiving dinner and brought it into those Marines. Oh, that's wonderful. It awesome. It's all about the community coming together. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I think for me too, this year I was feeling a little sorry for myself because our giant family Thanksgiving that we've always had kind of fell apart due to illness and different things. But when one of the Marines said to me, I've never had a big Thanksgiving before, that really put it in perspective yeah. for me. Yeah, I know that, that, I know that with you, because you have four children, and um, I know that family is special. I mean, I had a fantastic Thanksgiving, and it was just very special. So I do know that sometimes we can take some things for granted in our lives, but we are so blessed. So what do we need to do, and what are we asking our community for right now? So we're asking our community for three things. So first of all, in that community kitchen, um, there is, there's not a lot of utensils right now for them to use. Um, so what we're asking for is actually some disposable plates, some bowls, some things like that, cups, napkins that they'll be able to use and we'll be able to stock in that community kitchen. Okay. The second thing that we're asking for is DVDs. So each of the Marines is issued a DVD player, but there's not like a DVD library or something where you can get more DVDs. So we're actually in the process of putting a DVD library into that main central area. Which you already got the bookshelves donated. We did. From somebody at our Rotary Club. Exactly. So, so this has also been announced and is actually teaming up with uh, um, some of our community of our Farragut Rotary Club. And so I know that we got two bookshelves donated. We've already gotten a couple of boxes of DVDs. I know I, got, I went to Costco last week and I was like, you know what, I have some extra room in my cart. I'm gonna throw in the, the I think I got napkins, silverware, and you know paper plates. So, um, so we have DVDs for the DVD li library. DVD library. <laughs> um, and then the paper products. Mm -hmm. And then the third item is, so the third item is a way to make a difference this Christmas for each of those Marines. One of the things that I learned through the Thanksgiving experience is that a lot of those Marines don't get to go home for Christmas. Yeah. 
And it may be for financial reasons, it may be because they're in a wheelchair and it's just very hard for them, but there's a lot of Marines that end up staying there throughout the holidays. And so each one of those Marines, thanks to other volunteers, gets a gift bag on their doorstep on Christmas Eve. So we were thinking that the DoorDash or Uber Eats cards, and they need to be physical cards because okay. we can't email them, okay. but physical cards would be great to add in there to offset some of that cost of getting food in and out of the barracks during those times when they can't make it to the cafeteria. And is there a minimum on those cards that we'd like to ask for? We'd like to say $25. Minimum, yeah. Min yes, okay. just actually exactly $25 would be perfect, and that way I can evenly distribute it among okay. all of the gift bags. Okay, evenly, um, that's good. Yes, mm -hmm. we would really love to have at least one for each Marine, and there's gonna be between 30 and 40 Marines there. Okay. If we can get two or three for each gift that bag, would be awesome. that would be amazing, and that would really go a long way for them. Okay, and so um, we have the three things. Our deadline to receive these is going to be on December 18th because Denise is actually going to load up a U-Haul and she is going to actually take it down to the camp for all of these 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 soldiers. Um, so we really are looking for, there's two spots to actually drop off. Our office at the Knox Fox Real Estate Group, which is 11553 Kingston Pike, that is on Kingston Pike, right across the street from Coles in Farragut. The other location is going to be Vicki Williams's office, 114 Lovell Road, Suite 102. That is the Movement Mortgage Office. You can drop off at either location. You can give us a call. You can message us. You can any of the above. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with our community. The hope is um, that we can turn this into an official charity. Right now, I'm really just a mom trying to help some Marines. Um, but the goal is- A military is mom. A, just a military mom trying to help some Marines. And so the goal is to turn this into an official charity over the coming weeks, months. Um, right now, I'm just trying to make a difference for a few Marines that I know about. So anything is helpful and thank you. Thank you very much oh, you're for the very opportunity welcome. to talk about this. So you are very welcome. And I might get a little teary eyed just because she has one of the biggest hearts. And I am so grateful to have her in my life. And I am so grateful for my community. And so I just really want to ask you guys to help us make a difference in so many lives. So please let us know if you need any help getting, this getting the, the items to the office. We'll come and pick them up from you. And we hope you have a blessed holiday season.